Hello folks, once again, welcome back to Roots Gourmet Kitchen. It's always a pleasure for me to share my homemade recipes with you guys. And today, I'm going to share with you my shepherd's pie recipe. I went ahead and boiled my potatoes just to prep a bit so we wouldn't be delaying in our process here. So you just steam your potatoes with a little bit of salt, just about a teaspoon of salt and let it come to a sauce. So it's just boiling here at the moment. Then we're just going to go ahead and saute our onions to start our process. So we have our onions here. I'm going to saute my onions and my fresh green parsley. And this is for our mince meat. You can make shepherd's pie with ground beef or lamb. Today I'm using gr ground beef, lean ground beef. So you solder your onions and your ground beef and your, sorry, your onions and your parsley. And it cooks a bit. I'm going to throw in a you see, just a little bit of salt, just a pinch of salt and black pepper. Just for seasoning, for taste. If you're a person who uses a lot of salt, which I don't recommend, you can put whatever you, what is good for you, what you feel is tasty enough for you. And I'm gonna throw in about a quarter teaspoon of paprika. And that's it for the um, seasoning I'm gonna throw in here for a moment. If you find you don't have enough oil, you can always just put a little more in there. I don't think I have enough, so I'm just going to throw a little bit more in there. So my ground beef wouldn't be too dry. And you keep your stove at a medium high. We don't want to rush this recipe. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw in my my ground beef here. I have here um, about two pounds of ground beef. I seasoned it with some seasoned salt, about one and a half teaspoon. A little bit of black pepper, quarter teaspoon salt. And I'm just gonna throw this in here to salt it. So we're just gonna toss it like this. To start changing colors, up. starting to cook a bit. You can also turn yourself a little higher just to get a little bit of the juices flowing. I like rosemary in this recipe, so I'm going to throw in a pinch of rosemary. You don't have to if you're not a rosemary person, and like I said, you can put in whatever, see a little bit of parsley. You don't have to put in what I'm putting if you're not a person who likes seasonings. But this recipe called for a little bit of seasoning. You want to have a really nice tasting shepherd pie. You want your meats to be well seasoned. So I recommend it. So you're gonna just let that simmer for a bit. What I do too, I put a little bit of paste in here. A little bit of tomato sauce. So you get more flavors. Because shepherd pie is, is a little bit dry, so you have to add extra flavor to get it nice and moist. You don't wanna have a dry, high when you cut through. So all the onions will make a little more season, a little more. Okay guys, I'm gonna just cover this over for just about five, six minutes while I strain the potatoes. So we don't, have, we don't have to go anywhere. We don't have to go anywhere. Just stay with me. I'm just gonna move up the stove of a sink 
I'm just gonna strain the potatoes. Just like this, it's already cooked. Strain it out. We don't wanna have soft, 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 too wet potatoes. Come back here and just do this one. And guys, I like um, my potatoes really, really moist. So what I normally do, I go crazy with my shepherd's pie. I use full cream in my pie. If you're, not a, if you're on a diet or anything like that, you can use half cream. It's all okay. It's always what you prefer. So I'm going to throw this full cream in there. Mmm, yum. This is going to be good. And I'm going to throw a bit of butter, butter or margarine, in here. Guys, today we're not looking at our diet. We're just going crazy in here today. We're not watching our diet. So if you guys are on a diet today, too bad. <laughs> We're just gonna mash this till it comes really, really smooth. You want a really smooth topping for shepherd's pie. And guys, one thing that makes your potatoes really soft sour cream so I usually put some sour cream in there I'm gonna put about a half a cup of sour cream into my potato paste get everything done in there guys I hope you get not looking at your calories today because this is not a calorie watching day Mix it all together. Look at how smooth this looks. We don't want to have any lumps in here, so we're gonna go over it over and over until we achieve that smooth, creamy look. And if you don't want to peel potatoes, guys, you can use potato powder. It's not really recommended by me personally because I like that nice potato flavor that you can go a potato. I like that. So I peel the potatoes and we get them scratch. This looks really, really good. I think. Let me see if it's. Mmm. This is really good, guys. Have a look in here and see how moist this looks. See how soft this looks. Okay, guys. Folks, give me a minute. A minute. Let me have this meat. finish cooking and then I'll come back with you guys to finish up so it's ready I it's ready to have um this throw in here I'm gonna put it in our filler mixed vegetables even for five minutes and then I'll be right back with you guys to finish up this dish all right, folks, first things first. This is what we achieve here. This is our filling for the shepherd's pie. It's all done, looks really good. We're gonna now fill the pan for the pie. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. And guys, make sure it's all even out when you're doing that. Oh, it's the kitchen. This kitchen smells heavenly. So you're just going to do like this. Just even it out. Because you want to leave enough space for the 
potato to sit on it. A nice bed. So what we're doing basically is making a cushion for the potatoes. So you just do like this. Clip it a little more. And that should be enough because we need enough. Let me start put a little more. Put one more here. Nice and thick. So we're just gonna switch pots here. And set filling, you know, filling our pie. Okay, that looks good. So guys, you see the potatoes, it's really soft. Look, you see, it's really soft. It's just supposed to, yeah, right, nice. It's supposed to be just, just fall there. And then you're just gonna roll it out and make sure everywhere is covered. I'm coming off my diet today. Today, today. There's no diet for me today. <laughs> Guys, I'm on a diet and I shouldn't be even looking at this kind of food. But all because of my viewers, I have to do this. Oh goodness. So just like that, you fit every little corner. So when it starts cooking, it's not going to seep through and come on top of the potatoes. Just like that. Just like that. Nice and thick when you're done. You have a nice thick slice. Oh, I can't wait till this is finished. Okay, just like that. Everywhere you see, just make sure. And to finish that off, folks, we're just gonna throw a little bit of black pepper just like that over it and a pinch of paprika and we're gonna just little flakes of parsley and tada this is gonna go into the oven for 35 minutes at a 300 and 50 degrees. My oven is on, so we're gonna stick that in there. 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 35 minutes. Dinner will be ready. So folks, we'll be right back to have dinner with me today. See you in a bit. Folks, we're back, and I think my Shepherd pie is done. Let's go to the oven and see what's going on in there. Let's go follow me, follow me guys. Oh, this looks good. Wow, this, oh my goodness, this is heavy. Oh my God. Oh, that was a lot of work guys. That was a lot of work. I said like I worked hard to get out of the oven than when I was putting it in. This looks amazing, guys. So it's all done. It looks beautiful. You know I can't cut this right now because it's still hot and we're not gonna get a really nice slice. So the next two hours, when it's cooled down, I'm gonna cut it and let you guys see how beautiful it looks inside. There we are, folks. The final result of my shepherd's pie. Soft, delicious, juicy. Very soft and delicious. Look at that. Mm. Tasty. Guys, if you like what you've seen today, give a thumbs up, subscribe, enjoy. This is for you.